Hey, partner. Good morning to you. Oh, shit. Oh, what is the matter with you? Why don't you go bother someone else? I'm coming through. Hey there. Hey, mister. Hello. How are you? Good morning. All right, stranger. Okay there. Good morning, partner. Good morning. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Whoa! All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen? Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolania. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gone real down. Stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up! Go! Goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. like you don't know me. Stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn uh, hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. No word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. Oh, oh, you think oh, we're here for no, fun? No, no, no. Oh, 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 open the goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hurry up! I, I'm going as fast as I can. Too goddamn oh. slow! The shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lockboxes now. I. Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. 
All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. I can. This is slower, but it's quieter. Okay. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. Just take it. Why are there people out there? Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Come on, make it quick. just yet. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Folk ain't dead in there. You won't swing. I said come out now. What do we do? I don't know. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot. Don't shoot him. I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss. Sorry.
Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed...
husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Arthur. All good, Charles? You don't make a convincing lawman. You good there? Of course. Why? We're back, Miss Grimshaw. We should do something fun this evening. Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Are we supposed to call you Sheriff Morgan now? If he keeps giving you trouble, you let me know. Oh, I can handle that fool. <laughs> I have no doubt. You okay? Rest of us, rest of us, are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you.
Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver? Proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now... Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. 
That don't surprise me. Yeah. Whoa. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Benton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Okay, Benton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton! Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, Paul, let's see you back. I'll be a boy, Fenton. He's a 
enjoying every minute of this, I promise you. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, we went out for milk. Flag, flag hit the spot. Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Uh, Good morning, Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. oh, shit. Keep it. me never to take up a career in, what was it advertising yeah. you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd uh, i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old my braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? 
Some fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. This is Ed. Evening, Arthur. Ladies. Evening. Hi. How's everything? Real shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. That's why they go. Morning to you. Good morning, Arthur.
back to work. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. Well, quite the price tag on little old you. Bye.